Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Finding the value of x. From here, let's represent 2x plus 1 as y. So let y be equals to 2x plus 1. Then we can write this equation again and that will be square root of 2. Then inside that we have square root of 2x plus 1 now can be written as y. Then also again square root of y, which is equals to 4. And uh, from here, we square both sides to remove this square root. Square this side now, and also square this side. And uh, this square will cancel this square root here. We are left with 2 square root of y, then square root of y which is equal to, let's still leave this as 4 squared. Then from here also, we square both sides again from here. Then square this side again. Then this square will affect the numbers. We have two terms here now. We have 2 and the square root of y, square root of y. So we have 2 square here will be 2 square. So let's write that as 2 square. Then Square, we cancel square root here, then times y, root y, which is equal to this power multiply, we have 4 raised to power 4. Again, we repeat the process, and uh, also square both sides, we square both sides, then this square will affect 2 square, it will affect y, and it will affect root y. So when we square 2 square, this power multiply, we can write this as 2 raised to power 4. Then, y times y square. Then times square, we can't just square root here. We have times y, which is equal to here. Let's write this as 4 raised to power 8 now. 4 times 2, that's 8. Then, in the next step, we divide both sides by 2 raised to power 4. In order to remove it on this side, we cancel each other here. Then from here we have 2 raised to power y raised to power 1 here. So from the law of indices, since we have same base, we can have the power together and this will be y raised to power 2 plus 1, which is equal to from this side. We can also express this 4 as 2 raised to power 2, then raised to power 8, divided by 2 raised to power 4. Then from here, we can write this now as y raised to power 3 equals to 2 raised to power 16 minus divided by 2 raised to power 4. And from the law of indices, since this one is dividing each other, then the power here we can subtract. And this will be y raised to power 3 will now be equal to 2 raised to power 16 minus 4. And 16 minus 4 gives us 12 there. So we can say y raised to power 3 equals to 2 raised to power 12. And also we can write this again from here. And this will be y raised to power 3 equals to 2 raised to power 4. Then raised to power 3. 4 times 3, that's same thing as 12. And here we have 2 raised to power 4 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. So now let's write this as y raised to power 3 equals to 16 raised to power 3. Now take 16 raised to power 3 to this side. We have y raised to power 3 minus 16 raised to power 3 equals to 0. From here, when we apply the identity of difference of 2 cube, this will give us y minus 16, then multiply by y squared, plus y times 16, that's 16y, then plus 16 square, which will give us 256, then equals to 0. And from here, we have two possible cases. We have y minus 16 equals to 0, and also we have y square plus 16y plus 256 equals to 0. And on this side, we have we take minus 16 here become plus, that's y equals to 16. Then, we represented y 
as 2x plus 1. So we have 2x plus 1 now. It then be equal to 16. So when we solve from here, we take 1 to this side. We now have 2x equals to 16 minus 1, which is 2x equals to 15. If I go side by 2 from here, we have x to be equal to 15 over 2. So we have one of the values of x here. Then on this side, we can also solve here using the quadratic formula. We have y equals to minus d. That's minus 16. B is 16 plus or minus square root of b square, 16 square, minus 4. A is 1. And c is 256. Then all over 2a. And a is 1. 2 times 1. And from here, this becomes y equals to minus 16 plus or minus square root of 16 square is 256. Then minus 4 times 256, we have 1024. Then over 2. So we have y now to be equal to minus 16 plus or minus square root of. This gives us minus 768 over 2. Then from here. We can separate this and this will be y equals to minus 16 plus or minus square root of we have 256 times 3 that will give us 768 then times minus 1 and the square root of divided by 2 we have y equals to minus 16 plus or minus square root of 256 that's 16 then we have root 3 then root minus 1 is i, then all over 2. These two can divide from here, and this should be simplified as y equals to minus 8 plus or minus 8 root 3i. And then from here, is it that we have y equals to minus 8 plus 8 root 3i, or we have y equals to minus 8 minus 8 root 3i and from here we represented y as 2x plus 1 and then which is equals to minus 8 plus 8 root 3i then when we take minus 1 to this side from here become minus 1 so minus 8 minus 1 that's minus 9 we have 2x equals to minus 9 plus 8 root 3i then divide both sides by 2 to get x then x now be equals to minus 9 plus 8 root 3i over 2 so we have another value of x here then from this side we also have y to be equals to 2x plus 1 which is equal to minus 8, minus 8 root 3i. Then when we solve from here again, we take 1 here, become minus 1. We have minus 8, minus 1. That's minus 9. So 2x now equals to minus 9, minus 8 root 3i. Then divide both sides by 2 again. We have x now equals to minus 9, minus 8 root 3i, all over 2. So we have another value of x here. These two values of x are complex solution and then we have one resolution from here which is x equals to 15 over 2. Let's say this is the first solution x1 and this is second x2 and this is third x3. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up. Put your comment in the comment section and uh, see you in the next class. God bless you.